Hey there, my name is Peter Kruzek, and if you've been using WooCommerce for some time like I have, you know that shipping and calculating those shipping rates can be tiresome and really weird. If you've ever updated your shipping settings and, well, the shipping prices just don't update properly and no matter what you do, you can't get it right. Even if you've cleared the transients, cleared the expired transients, and even enabled shipping debugging mode, which is supposed to remove shipping rate caching, and it still doesn't update properly? Well, thankfully, there's a way to manually purge the WooCommerce shipping rate cache. So let's get to that. The only caveat here is that you are going to have to touch the database semi-manually. The best way to do that is through something called phpMyAdmin. Your web host should have this enabled for you, and if they don't, ask them to install it for you because it is going to be the easiest way to update this. First, we have to find our database. For me, it's right here. And then we go into a table called WP Options. WP Options holds a lot of the stuff that goes on in WooCommerce. And using phpMyAdmin, it's really easy. We just go up to search. Under option name, we type in WC ship. Around WP ship, we have to put the percentage signs. That is the wildcard operator, which allows us to search for everything. And once we enter that in, click, click, go. In my case here, I have all these here. And in order to delete that, all I have to do is click check all and then delete. It asks me then, do I want to delete? Yes, I do. Click yes going to load depending on how many tables you have it can take a little while or it can be very quick in my case it's a little bit slow because my internet connection is not that great but all you have to do is click yes it will show you hey you got this right and you're done then you can go into your WooCommerce again you can test those shipping rates but the thing you need to know though is as soon as you try entering any data into the shipping calculator even with all those settings, even though you've cleared your caches, even if you set debugging mode, it will still write the cache into WP Options. I believe that's a bug in WooCommerce, but there's no way to go around it at the moment. So we just have to live with it. And if you need to update the settings, you need to change some values and it's not updating those once you actually go into the shipping calculator, you will have to do this manual operation over and over again. Well, thanks for watching. And that's how you clear your WooCommerce shipping rate cash.